Yo, 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 welcome guys. Welcome back to Skillshare program on Fufu for TV. My name is Kwame Chumisi. So Skillshare is basically a program we've put together to help you guys grow and run your business, okay? So we'll be bringing tutorials like um, how to create and use Excel to run your business, how to create like blog websites, how to create business websites, and how to um, create Android and iOS apps, and how to use um, useful business tools, how to um, create and use Photoshop, okay and, and and a whole lot more okay so if this is something that you're really excited about or if it's, this is something you want to learn then please do not forget to click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so when we release any um useful business tutorials or useful um skill share tutorials you do not miss out today i'm going to show you guys how to create an email for your domain okay so this is basically um if you have a website let's say www.vip.close.com i'm going to show you how to create an email like info at vip.close.com or um, sales at vip.close.com or um, um, your name at your domain name.com okay and when i'm done and when i show you how to create this email i'm going to also show you how you can link um, this email to gmail or outlook so you can use gmail or outlook to reply and um, to send all your emails and also to receive all your emails from your server okay so this is going to be really really exciting i'm going to go straight to the point without wasting much time let's get right into it okay so this is what we're going to cover today so basically i'm going to show you how to create um, your email account on your server i'm going to show you using plex okay but i'll quickly run through um how to use um cpanel this is for those that have got hostings that use cpanel instead of plesk okay yeah i'll quickly go through that and when we finish i'll show you how to link to gmail as i've said and i'll also show you how to link to outlook so you can use that to send and receive email from your client so without wasting much time let's get right into it so i'm going to share my screen now okay so here um, i've logged into my hosting account okay but before that um i'll quickly go do a run through cpanel so if you are using cpanel and um, when you log into your hosting account you're going to see something like that okay so create so to create an email account for your business you just go to the email account you see here look at where the yellow mouse is you click on that okay then you come to the top section here where it says create then you click on that then you basically go through um, this okay yeah um, um, go through what sort of email you want to create the, the sort of domain name if you have multiple domain names on your host and you select which one then then you create a password and you basically go create email and you are done so this is really really easy guys so as I said I'm going to sh I'm show you guys how to create this email using Plex so I'll quickly log on to my um, account then I'll log on to my um, onto Plesk. If you're watching this tutorial, I'm assuming you already have, you've already bought your domain name and already have your um, hosting set up. Okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming you already have, have all that set up. Okay. If you don't, if you don't have that set up, then you want me to do a tutorial on how to create like a blog website or um, website or how to um, by domain names and hosting please comment below and I'll make that happen for you so I've logged on to Plesk as you see here I'm going to maximize it a little bit so you, ca you guys can see so this is the Plex interface okay the Plex interface for my um, website I already have a website and the website is called vip.close.com okay so what I'm going to do is I'll just go to the mail here as you see here I'll click on the then I'll go to create email address. Okay. Okay. So this is where I'm going to put um, the name I want to use for my email address. So in this case, I'm going to type in info, info at vip.close.com. So vip.close is the name, um, it's my domain name. Okay. Yeah. So you, for here, you can use any um, name alias. So you can use maybe sales at vip.com 
vip.clays.com support at vip.clays.com um, hello at vip.clays.com or even your own name you can create a name for your employees so Kwame um, Chumisi at vip.clays.com okay so feel free to play um, around with it so I'm going to use info at vip.clays.com for this you can use any email address in case something goes wrong you can recover your email address but since I've got the login the credentials to my um, Plex account I do not need it's not really necessary to put anything here password make sure you create a strong password retype your password here and um, with the mail settings just leave it as default okay yeah you can always come back and change the settings yeah so just leave it as it is then you, you, you just straight away just go okay tada so we've created info at vip.close.com okay was created now when you come here yeah to where my mouse is okay so we got the i and then the email so you'll be able to check your web mail over here yeah but um since we're going to link this to um, our gmail and outlook i don't really need to go in now but when i come to the i section here click on it okay so when you click on it, it's going to give you how to set up your email address. So if you want to set up on um, my, um, Outlook, you can click on this Outlook or Gmail. Just click on that one. If you want to set up on iOS or your iPhone or iPad, you click on that one. OK, but what I normally do is I just click on the manual setup here. OK, so we're going to use the details you see here to set up our email. OK. You can also click on this and it's going to give you like um it's going to show you what to do but just click on the menu setup here and leave this open okay we're going to use the details here to set up our email so now what we're going to do now is um i'm going to go ahead straight to gmail account my gmail account and show you how we can link um our email address to our gmail so here I've got my Gmail account open. So this is vip.close at gmail.com. Okay. So we are going to link our um, server email to our Gmail account. So what I'll do is um, I'll go to the settings, look at where the, the mouse is, click on settings, then click on see all settings. Okay. Now at the top section, go to account. accounts and imports okay then come all the way down here where is um, it says let me maximize it for you so accounts and imports then check mail from another account here you click on add a mail account okay so now we're going to add the email we created okay so I'll go back here So email we created is um, info at vip.com. I'm going to copy that. Then I'll come here, paste that here, make sure it's correct, then go next. Okay, so import emails from other accounts, pop P3. Yep, this is what we need. So we go next. Okay, so here we need to re-put our email address again. So info at vip.close.com and we need to put here the password you created um, the email with on the server. Okay, you have to make sure the password is correct. We put that one here. Okay, now with the pod server, yeah, we need to come back here. An incoming mail server is vip.close.com. So copy this and make sure you change this to that. So that will be the pop server. Okay. The pot is going to be 995. Okay. Make sure you select 995. Now we click on 1223. Two, so 123 is what we're going to click on. Now we go add account. Ta-da. So it's found, it's been able to, it's connected. Okay. So what, when you see this green tick, this means it's been able to communicate with our email server. Okay. So yes, you leave this on. Yes. We go next. 
you can decide to use your name. So maybe um, when your customers receive your email, they know that um, this email address is coming from Prince. Okay, so Prince, you may see from info um, at vip.close.com. Yeah, it's sending as the email. Okay, so you can leave it as your first name. What I do is I normally just remove my last and um, first name and just leave it as Prince. Yeah, then treat this as an alias. Yes, then I'll go next step. So what this is saying is um, we can um, receive emails into our account. Yeah, so this sentence was also is going to help us send emails to customers. Okay, so what we're going to do is then we'll come back here, the outgoing mail server, click on this one, copy, then go back here and replace this one with that. So it's going to be vip.close.com. Now the port number is going to be 465 because we're going to be using the SMTP. Okay, so make sure it's 465. Again, we're going to put the email address here, which is vip.close. Yep, and we'll put the password we created here. Make sure this is on secured um, connection using SSL, okay? If everything is okay and everything is looking good, yep, then you go add account. Yay, so so far so good. So what this is saying is we now have to go into our Gmail account and wait for a verification code from Google, okay? So that's where I'm going to go. So I'll quickly just go to my um, email account, go to inbox, and we need to wait for a verification code from Google. So I'll just keep refreshing until, until I get it. It usually takes like a minute or two yeah, so just be patient, huh? Ta-da! So this is the email we are waiting for, okay? So Gmail team, okay? So it says Gmail team info at vip.close.com. Yeah, so normally Google does this, so we know that um, Google knows that it's connecting to the right email. So we'll just click on that email, and this is the verification code, okay? So I'll just copy that verification code. Then go back here, verify. We are done, okay? Yeah, so we've been able to connect our um, email to our Gmail successfully. So now, when you come to your email address, yeah, you'll be able to see that you got vip.close created here. Yeah, so this means you'll be able to send emails from your um, Gmail account. So once I'm done with this, um, you can test it out, it's gonna work perfectly fine, okay? So once I'm done with this, what I normally do is I go back to certains, go to see all certains, okay. Then I come to the in account and import. Now, so when you see send mail as, so by default, um, Gmail is gonna send emails using your normal Gmail account, which is vip.close.gmail account. Um, I wanna change that. I want um, Google, I want my Gmail account to automatically send mail as my info at, um, so prints info at vip.close. So I'm gonna click on make default here and that's it. Yeah, so moving forward, all, your, all the emails you send is gonna send as info at vip.close.com and your customers and your clients will not know that you are using Gmail account, okay? So we've been able to connect this successfully. This is really, really easy. So once we're done with this, now let me show you guys how to um, connect your email address with your Outlook, okay? So in case you wanna use Outlook. So again, we'll leave this open. Then I'll just go to my um, PC and open Outlook. Yeah, for Outlook, it's really, really easy. Okay, so as you can see, I've already connected Prince.chumesi at Fufu Group here to my Outlook account, okay? To get Outlook, just go to your normal Windows PC and yeah, um, type in Outlook on um, in the search um, bar here and Outlook will pop up for you. It's really easy. Now, so we go to um, File, 
then underneath here you go add account as you can see here okay okay so your name you can put uh, maybe prince here so prince is my name now the email you want to connect of course is um so we'll come back here is the info at vip.close.com i'm going to copy that paste it here and the password you created for it okay with outlook it's really really easy it does everything automatically for you so we'll paste the password here we'll repaste the password here then we'll just go next and outlook will do its magic yeah so outlook will automatically um look for the server connect and everything will be set up for you it's that easy make sure you do not touch anything uh, just let outlook um do its work looking good so far we've got two green ticks done you see it's that easy so outlook has been able to connect our email so we go finish now when we come to the left section here you can see that info at vip .close has been created for us okay and outlook has automatically um, sent itself what do you call it an email address and it's worked successfully it's that easy guys it's that easy yeah so if you have any questions just drop it down below and I'll answer you okay it's that easy guys so I hope you can actually go and do this okay so if you have a website and you want to create a professional business email account you can go onto your cPanel or your Plex create the email link it to your Gmail account or Outlook okay so you can send and receive emails using Gmail or Outlook and um, my name is Kwame Chumesi or you can call me Prince Chumesi and um, this is my contact details in case you have any questions feel free to contact me please go on our Instagram page and support us by just um, following us yeah you can reach me on this number or you can send me an email um, if today's the first time you're coming here please show some love and click on that subscribe button click on that notification bell so when we release any useful content you do not miss out I'll talk to you soon guys bye